Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to build a pre-built dresser. So as you can tell I already have one set up and the million pieces and hardware are all on the floor for round number two. Now if you don't have this specific dresser, obviously dressers come in multiple shapes, sizes, the materials that are used, but pretty much putting everything together is essentially the same. I have a desk downstairs that I put together. The materials were a little bit different, but essentially it was the same install. As far as the hardware goes, how the hardware is installed and all the connections for all this wood. So hopefully this can give you a good idea putting together your own dresser or any desk for that matter that is pre-built and ready for assembly. So as you can tell, I think the easiest way to start is to lay out everything in groups. So I have all the dressers together, all the liners, all of the rail track system, everything is paired. I think this is going to make it much easier for round two. So let's get started. So for step number one on this particular dresser, I have all the sides where all the rails are going to be attached with all the hardware, all of these are in the correct orientation. So make sure when you're following the instructions, you have these boards in the proper orientation. I did learn that on round one with the dresser over there. So you do need to make sure you're on the right side, everything is laid out correctly, and a power drill is going to be your best friend for this project. So those three pieces are done and out of the way. Moving on to the next step now, we have the center divide. So this has the rails on both sides. This was one of those three pieces that I was working on. We are going to be connecting that to the base now for this dresser. So with it in the orientation upright, I'm going to spin this around and making sure both of these lines are the same because this is the back of the dresser. So you want the uglier side on the back side there. From here, I can slide this in. And again, this is gonna be very similar to other dressers. When you have this locked in place, at least on this piece, there is a line right here. This is the back of the shelf and what it's going to get positioned into. So you wanna make sure this is flush and underneath that line. And then from there, I'm going to take the next two pieces. Now what I learned is you wanna make sure you double check both sides. On this particular piece, each side is unfinished. On the second one is, that is identical to it, one side is painted, one side is unfinished. That will determine, obviously, how you're going to have this set up with your dresser. So you want to make sure you have them in the right uh, orientation and you also have the right hardware. And that includes a ton of these little wooden pieces that you will pretty much be installing on every part, for the most part, along with the rest of the hardware here. You can see we have some progress now with this big capital H. We also have one of these sides with those track systems on the side. And just like the other two pieces, this is going to connect with these posts that you can see right here. So it's going to slide in to the back section of this top. And just like the other ones, we can push that down to make sure that is nice and flat. I will have to come back and adjust that side just because this side is kind of in its way. So once we get all those in place, give it a firm tap, we can get it nice and flush. Now we have the rest of the hardware, more of this plastic to attach this one side over here. And now it's time for round two. So this is the identical matching side to the opposite side. I'm going to attach this just like I did and with both of these uh, being independent on this one side, it is a little bit harder to line up. But once you kind of wiggle it into place, it is easy to do. Just like that, just like that. And we have that same plastic hardware that I showed previously for this other side. Our next step is sliding in the back of this dresser now. And over here, I have to push it just slightly, but as long as you have all that flush, this should line up and you should be able to slide it all the way to the back. Now, since it is flimsy, I do have to push it up from the bottom a little bit to kind of line it up as best as I can in that channel in the back. Once you have that, we are ready to assemble more plastic. We have more of those clips that I was using earlier, and this will safely secure it to the back of the dresser. Yeah. 
We are now moving on to the finishing touches for the bottom of the dresser. So these right here are going to help support being actually on the carpet, supporting the entire weight of this. So there's more of those wooden dowels, I'll call them, that we're putting on the back side. And then these are just going to get positioned just like this on the bottom. So there's holes that line up. When you buy a pre-built kit, everything is usually fairly easy to put together. It's just a matter of really reading the instructions well, because I have found that uh, sometimes the instructions are really not the best. And just with a little bit of force there, we have that piece in. This piece will mirror it along the bottom. There we go. And with that in, we also have these plastic footings. So these will be, or act as a barrier between the wood and your carpet, hardwood, whatever the surface you're putting this on. So it is starting to look like a dresser. You can see before with no drawers and all of the drawers in the one to the left. Pretty simple, especially round two. It took me a little bit longer to figure it out the first time, but going very smoothly for round two. So now we're moving on to all of the dresser drawers and I have everything laid out basically. There are four larger drawers. You can see the four on the bottom, two smaller drawers for the top. So I have all of the larger ones over on this left side. This is the hardware to start making the larger one. And then for the smaller one, I have all the hardware laid out. Just like everything else, you're going to read the directions. We have some hardware I've already installed, all of the extra hardware to attach the siding. So it's really not that hard of a project. I'm gonna walk you guys through one of the larger ones and one of the smaller ones. If you have a similar dresser or really putting any dresser drawer together, it's going to be very similar to this process. So I'm going to start with the smaller of the dressers and these two holes right here is for the hardware. So you see those on the dresser itself. I already went ahead and screwed in these two connections. Those are pretty popular for putting dressers together. And so from there, I already have both of my sides. And again, you wanna make sure, what I found with some of these is that they're actually, they actually have different holes on the bottom depending on if this goes on the left side of the wood or the right side of the wood. So when you place it on, just make sure that you are on the correct side and that it lines up with the rest of the wood that it's supposed to line up with. Otherwise, you'll be flipping some pieces, just taking a little bit more time to do so. But that is the side of it. Now we have these plastic, whatever you wanna call them, uh, they just cover the holes and lock those screws in place so that way this piece of wood will never come up especially when you're opening and closing your drawers all of the time all right and by twisting those about 90 degrees or so they are locked in place from there we can attach our first bottom of the dresser so i have six of these for all of the dressers obviously and with that in place we can also take this piece here now what i do have to do is attach this metal piece right here. This goes in these holes here. There's uh, instructions on which way it should be placed in. You do need to uh, smash this in with a hammer to get it nice and secure. And basically this will hold the bottom of the drawer in place once this piece of wood is attached. And with that metal piece securely attached to this piece of wood, what I can do from there is line this up. So even I made a mistake there. If you haven't been able to tell, now there's two holes on the side instead of the cutout, which was right there. So I did have those pieces on backwards. Easy flip though. So from there, now I can install this piece because it will line up with those grooves on each side. So that way you know it is in correctly and everything is centered. From there, we can attach these longer plastic poles, I'm going to call them, because that will hold this in place. We can do that on both sides. And then we have those same plastic screws that you just saw to hold those in place. So it will tell you which rail goes on which side and which orientation. From there, you can see I have it secured right there. And the bottom of the drawer will slide back and forth. Once you have these attached, they will sit nice and secure. So obviously I'm holding it upright so it's going to fall down. But from there, we have our hardware and we can go ahead and attach these rails. All right, so aside from putting the knobs on the end of this, 
we can attach our first drawer. There we go. Drawer number one, almost done. We have the uh, two knobs that you can already see over on that left side. And with the uh, supplied hardware, we can install these, which is fairly simple, straightforward. All right. Drawer number one is completely done. So obviously that was a pretty simple install, I would say. It's going to be the same process for the other five. Let's cut to the time lapse and get this dresser done. And just like that, dresser number two is complete. This one took me just under an hour and a half, a little bit longer for the other one. So I hope that was a good step-by-step -step for you. Again, you can kind of use this for other dressers, other desks, anything that you have to build is going to be relatively similar to this if you're buying the kit and having to put it together yourself. So you also have to make sure where you want to put these and how large they are. I measured before I put both of these on this wall here, obviously. So that way I knew they would perfectly fit along the backside of my closet here. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm also making another video. Check that out down in the description below, turning my entire closet into something that actually has usable storage. As you can tell, there's just the wire rack, which is what I'm going to call the builder spec. When I moved in, that is all I got. So we are in the process of actually putting storage into our closet. So check out that video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a huge thumbs up and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.